All right, guys, so today we're gonna go over my 10 rules on how to lead a team. Rule number one, learn how to listen, right? You wanna make sure that you're present in the moment when somebody's speaking to you so that one, they can actually trust you and you can also give them the information needed when you ask them that question. So again, rule number one, learn how to listen. Rule number two, create relationships by building trust. That means you have to be consistent. Do what you say you're gonna do and say what you mean. We're going to go over a condensed conjugate today. Day one, you know that's what we're going to try to do. What we want to do is increase maximal efficiency and force production for the upper body, but we're going to be fast with the lower body, right? For your plow metrics, we're going to do two to three types of plow metrics. I want to go bilateral, but I also want to go unilateral, okay? Accessories, we're going to do three to four based upon their weaknesses and their condition. Okay, rule number three, guide, but do not micromanage. You want to give them the tools, the tactics, and some systems that will allow them to do what they need to do. Once that's set in stone, then let them go out there and prove their worth and do their thing so that you can be the leader that you are. Rule number four, lead from the front and the back. Don't be afraid to push them, but also never tell them to do something that you wouldn't do yourself. Rule number five, showcase your value by improving yourself. Always look to learn read, research, whether that be YouTube, podcast, or any other forms of getting better, you always wanna get better each and every day. Then what does it feel like? He says it feels like, like a stretch in his quad. In his quad, yeah. like in his VMO, or is like, like, like you know, inside? Inside. Or in his adductor? Inside. Okay, so probably do some soft tissue work first, yeah. right? So let's get him in here if you can, let's get him with Dr. Greg. Yeah. Like at least we can get to see exactly what we need to do with him instead of just throwing shit at him, yeah. right? Rule number six, give quality advice, right? Make sure, again, it goes back to the other rules of listening and learning through communication. You wanna make sure that you're giving quality advice so that the people that you are leading can take that with them to be successful. Yeah, split squats and his right side, he was Rule number seven, make them see and believe in your vision, right? You wanna make sure that everybody understands where we're trying to go and what we're trying to accomplish so everything is ready to be bought in. Listen, all right, all right, like, all right. Like, relax, 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 all right? It's not that serious. Let's make sure that we keep professional, all right? I'm good, like it's, I'm, I'm straight. I'm, all right. I'm good. Rule number eight, never be afraid of confrontation, right? If you're a leader, you're going to be going through this on a constant basis. So we have to be fearless. We have to make sure that we go at it in a professional way and we have an understanding of what's going on around us at all. Rule number nine, address situations as they come, but never stress the small stuff. We wanna make sure that we're getting all these situations handled, but we also wanna make sure that we're allowing those individuals to handle some stuff on their own. To be professional is to be able to create an opportunity based on a situation. Rule number 10, always show passion and enthusiasm towards the goal. If you don't show passion, if you don't show that you are really, really wanting to get these goals accomplished, then the people that are following you are not going to buy in to what you plan. So we want to make sure that every time we go after a situation, we go after it with enthusiasm and passion. All right, guys, so there you have it. 10 rules to lead your team or your business. All right, I hope you guys like this style of video. We did a little something different. If you like it, make sure you show me some love. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, and I'll see you again next time. Peace.